Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In this video I'll be covering the fourth installment of the series on pointers in C++. In this video we will look at pointers and functions. Okay, how we use uh, pointers with functions, we'll look at uh, pointer parameters, we'll look at how we can pass uh, memory addresses to functions as arguments and uh, we'll look at how we can uh, dereference uh, those memory locations that are passed to our functions and um, make changes within a function and use the values that the pointers are pointing at. Okay, So let's go ahead and get started. So as it turns out, uh, using pointer parameters with functions is similar to pass by reference. Okay. We've seen pass by reference before with functions in CS1160. Uh, pass by reference is when you pass arguments to a function uh, and any changes you make to those arguments within the function, whatever changes you make to those values, uh, are permanent. Okay. Um, the other option you have with functions is you can pass by copy where the original value uh, is preserved and what is given to the function is a copy to work with. Okay, pass by reference you give the original value to the function. So any changes you make to that value inside the function are permanent. Well, pointers work like that too. Okay, they are similar to you pass by reference. We just have a different notation. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. So let's uh, take a look at a function here and let's um, let's make a void function and we'll just call it swap. Okay. So what this function is going to do um, is swap the values between two variables. Okay. So how about we just um, make them character pointers. Okay. So I have this swap function and it's going to have two parameters that are pointer parameters okay, and accepts uh, as its arguments pointers to character variables. Okay. So inside my main let's make a couple of uh, character variables say character A uh, and let's initialize it Alright, so let's just initialize it with, I don't know, um, uh, Z. Okay. And then we'll make a second character variable and let's initialize it with Y. Just two random values that I pulled out, you know, a thin air. Okay. So let's uh, write the function definition for our swap function. Okay. Uh, so parameter lists are going to be two pointers. And we'll just call them uh, C1 and C2. Okay. So the algorithm for swapping two values between uh, two variables uh, is something like this, right? What we have to do is we have to uh, temporarily, temporarily store the value. Um, in C1. Okay, so we got to do that. So let's make a, a temporary holding variable here. Okay, and then we need to um, then we need to assign to that holding area uh, the value stored in C1. So temp equals. Remember, this is um, a pointer, so we need to use the indirection operator to dereference the pointer uh, to access the value in the memory location being pointed to by the pointer. Okay, So that will do that. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to uh, copy the value from C2 to C1. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's do that. Copy value stored in location 
point to 2 by C2 into location uh, pointed <laughs> 2 by C1. Okay, um, We're not copying what's stored in C2 into C1, right? Because that's memory addresses. Okay, They're pointers. What we want to do is we want to copy the value uh, stored in the location pointed to by C2 uh, into the location pointed to by C1. Okay, So let's do that. Again, we're going to have to use the indirection operator to do that. Uh, C1 set to C2. Okay, so that will do that. All right. Not copying the contents of the pointers, but what they're pointing at. All right. So finally, step three of the algorithm. Finally, copy what's stored in temp into the location pointed to. By, uh, by C2. Okay, so then star C2 set to equal temp. Alright, okay, uh, and that should be everything that we need. Let's just do a quick uh, compile for a sanity check. Alright, okay, no errors, we're good to go. Alright, so now uh, so now we have our function definition. Okay, um, we have two pointer parameters. So this function is going to accept two memory addresses, and those memory addresses correspond to the memory locations, uh, the variables that is, of the two values we want to swap. Okay, this uh, temp variable is going to hold the value. Pointed to by C1. Uh, this line right here is going to copy the value pointed to by C2 into the memory location or into the variable pointed to by C1. And then finally, the uh, value stored in temp is going to be copied into the location pointed to by C2. So that'll do our swap. Okay. So what does the uh, function call look like for this? Well swap, it's a void function, so we don't have to return anything, so we don't have to assign this to anything. Uh, then we have to pass it A and B, okay? But these are pointer parameters, this isn't passed by reference, okay? So these pointer parameters, C1 and C2, pointers hold memory addresses, so they are expecting to have memory addresses copied into them. So A and B, just like this, isn't going to work, okay? That would be passing the contents of A and B. Uh, to these parameters, and it's not the same data type. Okay, these are character variables. This is a pointer variable, so we have to send it the memory address. How do we do that? We use the address operator. Okay, A and B. All right. So um, let's uh, run this. Do a sanity check here. Make sure it compiles. Okay, we're good to go. Now we need to um, do some C outs here to prove that everything uh, worked. So let's show pre-swap, pre-swap values, okay, and uh, there'll be the contents of A and the contents of B, okay. Then let's have a C out statement that shows us the uh, post swap, okay, post. All right, oops, forgot an operator here. And right there. Okay, so now what should happen is, is we should see Z and Y on the screen, right? And the swap will happen, and then we should see Y and Z. Okay, all right, so there we go. So we can see this is similar to pass by reference in that the original values are changed, okay? But the syntax is different than passed by reference, right? Especially when we pass these arguments to the swap function. Okay. And inside the uh, swap function, right, we had to use the indirection operator to dereference the pointer to give us access to the values uh, stored in the variables that the pointer is pointing at. Okay. And 
important, we had to make sure that we used the pointer data types in the parameter list. Okay, so in this example, it's a void function. We don't have to return anything. Um, the changes that we make um, using the pointers are permanent. Okay, so there's an example of using pointers with functions. Okay. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or stop by my office hours. Alright, that's everything, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.